Okay, this is the left hand side torque box, which has been rusted through of course. And what I've started doing, I've started cutting it down across here, drilling out all the, the uh, spot welds that go through to the lower part of the chassis. And you get these weld in panels you can put in there. But instead of replacing the whole thing across to the centre, this is all nice and solid, where you got the mount, you know, for this back seat. Cutting it through here, take them out, take this plate out of here, and then I'll replace, see what it looks like. And if it's all good, then I'll cut this piece here, through here, and replace that part that's rusted out there. So, left hand side, rear, beyond the driver's seat. Now this is that welding panel uh, for the torque box area they talk about at the back of the uh, the, the uh, Mustangs. And so I've just sort of trimmed it back a little bit so I can get in there. And that's what's below it, you know. So uh, I still want to get down in the chassis. Inside here there's a bit of a repair at the bottom where they were pulling on it with chains. I want to fit that flattened out, fit some plates to it. But other than that, it's all very strong within the area. So uh, that would be interesting. Yeah, we're back on that torque box again. I've cleaned it all up now and grind it, sort of give me an idea of what we're going. Now, like I said to you before, the replacement panel, I actually cut the rest of it off that was up here. So, um, there's no need to do all this. There's plenty of strength up here. There's a bracket that holds the uh, back seat in place. So all you do, then drops in there, like that. Then what you do, just put a couple of tip screws, just hold it in place, we've already popped up one in already. Place. Had to bring that out a little bit more to the edge. Uh, that one was had to be shifted over because it wasn't coming in square. These weren't lined up over here. And then we'll just put that back onto there. Tech screws. And that's one side done. Then we'll be on to the other side over there. But uh, yeah, it, it was actually fairly easy the way you cut it out without cutting into the chassis. Uh, that was a, that was the main thing you had to look at when you're doing it. Um, I've also put that piece in, which is in behind here, which is where that cable gland went through. So I've put that piece in there, just gave it a bit of a spot this morning. I gave it a bit of a spot there, I've got a weld here, here, I've got to grind that flat again. It'll come along just nicely. Okay, what we've done now, we've just ground away the surface here to weld to. Um, cut the corners back here, here we cut the corner again. Up the back here, this was overhanging of course, so we've cut that. And then it'll go back in, cut this lip down, because this was sticking up of course, and then put the snap grips on there. And then what we did also, in the chassis, where the uh, chain was pulling on the chassis, we fixed the hole at the bottom. Now we're gonna give that a bit of a coat of uh, kill rust. We removed the plate that used to go across here. And then what we do, we'll cut a new plate, put a new plate in there. The plate had two holes in it. Um, we'll put that back in, but meanwhile we're going to give us all a rust corrosion inhibitor and then a bit of a prime. Yeah, so it all looks good now. We're just replacing the plate that was above the chassis, just a little bit of uh, internal strength. I just did a series of holes and we'll just plug weld them. Um, and then what happens after that, the piece will go in on top of it, as per se, and it goes that way, which we'll show you as we're going along. So we'll just plug that first. All right, what we've done now, we've primed all inside the chassis, put the plate back on the chassis, the one that was there before, but it had two big holes in it. We've put it back on there, spot welded, of course, and then ground them flat. The piece that's got to go in there, we've cut a couple of holes in there, which we're going to spot weld or plug weld back to that plate. Also, the inner edge has got holes, and that edge there, which is, so it sits back in there. And then I've got to add a tech screw hole there, so I'll put that tech screw back in there. I'll put a tech screw in here to pull these flat in again when I plug weld it and I'll put the snap grips on here and here to hold it when it goes back in and then we'll be able to put that piece in. Done. Yeah, here's that piece, uh, part of the torque box on the left hand side here. We've sort of just welded it in now. I've still got to go to the other side now because I've got it overlapping. You can see the tech holes where I had tech screws in. Um, so with the plug welds back onto the chassis, remember the chassis plate was in there. So all we do now is flip it over and then stitch on the other side as well. So that's all done. And now we've got the inner guard too, which is going to go back up into that gap there. Uh, we're progressing nicely. We've put that 
we put the plate back inside the door, which is the one back up in here. We've got the cable glands through it. That's been done now. 